Hello, Virgo. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. It's going to be a general reading for you may be dealing with. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what it does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel and about the three tarot she's read for you as well. Thank you. Hold that thought, Virgo. They decided to throw a chunk this way. Oh, this again. <laughs> this energy again. Well, let me just pull one more before I start then. That's what I thought. Okay, we're going jumping into this right away what they're showing me. They are not happy. They are definitely not happy. There's a quite a bit of disappointment regarding this situation. I almost kind of feel like this is an energy of they don't like what they have or they don't let me be more, let me be more specific. They don't like how little bit how little bit they have. Um which isn't much. They're showing me that they don't have much. There is a tight grasp here on money, finances, some sort of investment that they are trying to make improvements and changes to. There is some sort of contact or communication or discussion here taking place between you and them. And it's almost like uh, whatever this energy is, it's kind of like, okay, just get up and do something. Um, it's like very quick, but also very witty. Um, they're expressing their concerns or where they're at emotionally. And it almost seems and feels like it's like, okay, don't, don't, don't think about how you're feeling. Just kind of do something to move forward with it. They are kind of being pulled out of this. I don't know what this rut is or this indecisiveness is or whatever this is it's kind of like okay let's kind of get ourselves up let's you know dust ourselves off and let's get going um they are moving forward with it and i do see that it's an energy of okay they pulled themselves out of that little bit of a rut they are showing up very direct and clear even though this is very exhausting for them even though it is they are wanting to be persistent with pursuing this endeavor of some sort of figuring this out but ultimately i kind of feel like they are still a little bit on the fence as to what they truly ultimately want to do with it There you go there you go um yeah they're definitely putting together some sort of new thing for themselves whether it be a project a hobby it's coming together quite nicely because overall it's an energy of like a big project it's like it starts off as a very what's it called it starts off as a very small seed but then it automatically blooms and blossoms into something quite um quite nice for them there's a nice abundance there's nice growth here but overall they're pretty much saying you know what um it's very they're very at ease with it which i find very fascinating very at ease it's like well i got something going on and there it is it worked out Interesting. And just like that, it also kind of feels like they're wanting to be smart with their energy, their time. It does. Once again, they're they are. It's like the um, whatever this is that has worked out for worked out for them. It kind of unravels something else as well. It's almost like there's like not necessarily like a chain. But it could be like something leads to something else that they've kind of put together for themselves. Um, it leads to some sort of new financial opportunity as well. But ultimately, whatever this is, they're not too sure whether or not they strongly believe in this or if this is actually what they truly want to move forward with. 
It's like, well, what can I kind of do with it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Oh, we go. This again. This again. Um. They're considering their options, but they just, it's almost like for some reason, it's like you have to, how do I say this? Um, it almost seems and feels like there's a refusal to do anything else. It's like something has worked out and they're kind of like, nah, I'm just not going to do anything. I'd rather just kind of focus on taking it easy. They're buying their time. Okay. So what they're saying is they already feel like they have so much to already take care of and be responsible for. They don't want to add anything else onto what they currently have going on for themselves. Like, I'm just focused on doing what I can while I can. They're wanting to take it very kind of easy. Um, yeah, there you are, Virgo. Ooh. So is that from you to them, Virgo, or is that from them to you? Or you to them, them to you, you to them, them? Just like that. Wow, just like that. Um, here's that energy again. <laughs> this energy shows up quite a bit. Um, I don't know what this is. There's some sort of financial opportunity here that is for them. But like I said, they're like, well, I just don't know. Um, they kind of feel like, well, I've done enough. It's very kind of... I wouldn't even say indifferent. It's just they're difficult. They're difficult. They're like, they've done something to get themselves recognition, but then they don't want to do anything else after that. They'd rather just take it easy and relax and buy their time and like take care of what they can, possibly at home or within the living situation. Um, and it almost seems it feels like when you come around, Virgo, they're like, okay, now look busy. It's like, but they're not doing much. And even then with what's going on, it's like, well, have you thought about that financial opportunity or that job or that career or maybe that, you know, what you could have done or created from this? They're like, well, I kind of have. I've thought about it, but not much. And it's like, well, well what did you think about it? Well, I, I don't really love it. I'm not in love with it. I'm not too sure. They're kind of like, okay, that's over with. That's done with. Let's forget about it. So, of course, if you are dealing with anyone, Virgo, you could be dealing with a fire sign, an air sign, or an earth sign. Goodbye.